Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the stream, guys. Thank you for being here. Obviously, a little bit of a different start for us this morning. But I think that's going to be okay. What can I do for you, for the Alliance? We are going to hang out and level up this mage for a little bit while we wait and see if the sod servers are going to come back up. Puffy, Camping King, Monica, Jason, Mike, Jess, good morning to you guys. And so, originally, they had maintenance scheduled for all day, until 6pm my time. Then this morning, they had just like a regular maintenance scheduled with some live maintenance, uh, for a little bit later in the morning. I guess it shouldn't be a surprise that like servers did not actually come back up <laughs> when they said they would. They don't seem to know how they want to do maintenance today and how long it's going to take. J A O, good morning guys. The sound effects could be a little louder. Uh, yep, yep. Let's try like 35. Uh, music could probably come up a little bit. You guys let me know about the sound settings. You, you guys know how I like it. Right now, it, it seems a little bit quiet. Let's put this up to uh, 100 and see how that goes. <laughs> Even in retail, auto loot is not on. I, I understand why. Like Some people will want to see the loot that pops in. Yeah, it was either Elwyn Forest or, you know, the, the starting area, whatever. Exile's Reach. I just didn't really... Exile's Reach is not really, like, chill content. It's not, you know, it's, like, very scripted. It's very scripted content, so... Even though we've done Elwyn a bunch in, uh, in Sod, I'd rather just come in Elwyn and level this way. At level 10, we, we could pick... We can go anywhere, you know. You can go anywhere at level 10. What I typically do is I, I like to do a cla Cataclysm Time Walking... Then you can level up in any of the old world zones that you want. Which for me is always like much smoother than trying to do an actual like time walking campaign. I, I can never really get into like the time walking campaigns. I've tried to do Legion before, didn't really get into that. I did miss the Pandaria to 47 on the Druid. And that was okay. Uh, the Druid class was really boring. I did the, the Warlords of Draenor time walking on the Rogue. I didn't like the Rogue and I didn't like Warlords of Draenor, so I, the time walking is weird to me. I, I just like kind of sticking it out in the old world. John, good morning to you. Karen, good evening. Welcome. I have to remind myself that there's no reason for me to like kill a bunch of stuff that I don't need because you know in retail you don't really get a lot of kill XP. Need help? Life bless you. Go with honor, friend. On the East Coast, what time can you expect servers to be back up? We don't we don't know right now. I mean, originally they said 6 p.m. That was yesterday they said that. Uh, today they said they would be back up by, uh, by 11 o'clock our time, Eastern time. And now they're saying maybe they'll be back up by noon. So they clearly don't really know like how they want to do maintenance today. They don't seem to know how long it's going to take. Originally they thought all day, then they thought normal maintenance time with, with some rolling restarts afterwards. Now they're thinking maybe maybe they'll be back up by uh, noon our time, noon Eastern time. Maybe we'll see. You know, if if hey if they if they come up, you guys let me know, okay? I I am interested in leveling this this arcane mage, but uh, I'm a little bit more interested in leveling my druid. So I do want to play sod today. 
this is just something interesting to do while we hang out. Any games I'm looking forward to in 2024? Oh yeah, tons. Uh, so the, the upcoming one is uh, Last Epoch. Last Epoch is coming out at the end of February. Uh, Avowed, I, I'd like to play Avowed. That looks pretty good. Yeah, there, there's a few. There's probably more that I'm just not thinking of. Last Epoch will be the next one that I actually play on the channel. Is phase two out? No, not till Thursday, Martin. Thursday. Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern Time. It feels like they're trying to patch a bunch of stuff in today for Thursday. So that they have a smoother launch. Which WoW version is closest to me? Like, which do I prefer? I, I prefer Classic recently. I think of the I think of them as different games. Greetings. I, I play more Classic. Be careful. And and I, I I like the journey of Classic. But there are things I like about retail. I just try to think about them as separate games and try not to draw like a bunch of comparisons. For the Alliance. Stan, good morning. Welcome to the stream, buddy. Alright, so we got bling. I need some more action bars. Action bars. Oh, there we go. That should really be all that I need. Let's get you down here. You can go up. Okay. Hello. Safe travels. See you later. Good day to you. See you around. Nate, good morning, man. Welcome to the stream, buddy. I also have to remember that I don't have to worry about mana. Yeah, like, I don't have to worry about, like, do I need to do a fire blast? I can just do whatever I want. I can press all my buttons as much as I want to. Even if it's not strictly necessary. Oh yeah, re retail is gorgeous. Oh yeah, absolutely. And you know, the old zones were redone in Cataclysm, but they, they still stand up. And recently, uh, back in like patch, was it 10.2.0? They updated all the lighting. Uh, they updated the lighting and the view distance in the old zones uh, to use the more improved technology that they used in the Dragonflight zones. So when they did that, like the lighting and the view distance and everything in these zones got a lot better. Uh, for a while in like the old zones, they looked kind of drab compared to classic because of how the lighting was handled. Uh, but they're they're much better now, and yeah, they're and the uh, yeah, and obviously the art is always like just gorgeous, you know. That's like the best thing that retail has going for it a lot of the time is that like the game looks really good, it runs really smooth, and the art is amazing. That's like the the most consistent thing about retail is that the art is always good, even when other things about the game are not.
You know, retail is more about like, you know, end game content. Now end game content isn't always, you know, raiding and mythic plus end game content is also like the, the newest story campaign, you know, the newest world bosses like, it, but it is, it is more about like stuff you're going to do at max level, you know, it, it's the continuous play mode. It's, it's where you could take a character and on that one character at end game, like you're always going to have more and more stuff to do. A good one. Hey there. See you around. Have a good one. Uh, we got some conjure refreshments. Don't really know how much we'll need that, but I will I'll put it over here for now. Light be with you. Be careful. Go with honor, friend. Hey there. See you around. Oh, that's right. There was there was this big orc invasion. They burned the vineyards. I, I kind of remember the remake of this zone. The kobolds are gone. There's no more kobolds. There's no more Defias. Just orcs. Goblins. The true battle for Azeroth was fought during the Cataclysm. I think the Cataclysm was like the biggest faction war that we experienced like actually in the game. Whereas like the faction war in BFA was only experienced really through like the war, war chain quest or whatever they were called. It was like a, a specific series of quests and there weren't a ton of them and that was really the only place that you encountered like the actual war being fought or anything to do with it. This is Kata, yeah Jason, mm hmm Yep. Yeah, uh, there's a lot more to do in retail than grinding gear and experience though, you know, there, you know, it's for people that like collecting stuff, there's so much to do, like if you like collecting different looks for your character and really getting into the fantasy of your character and customizing it, you know, you have transmog, you have mounts. Uh, you know, the, the world questing is actually pretty fun. I did a bunch of world questing in the Emerald Dream and that was really enjoyable. But yeah, but they do make it, you know, the best thing about retail is like they, they make it so that solo players can like progress now. Solo players can get on every day, they can play their max level character, they can do some world quests, they can do LFR. And you can feel, you can do like the, the, the zone events and you can feel like you're progressing your character like every day. So, that's good. What time are the SOD servers back? Hey, you let me know when they're back up, because I don't know. Yeah, they, they said that last night they said 6 p.m. today. This morning the maintenance message said, uh, said they'd be up by 11 a.m. my time. And now it says they'll be up by noon my time, so I don't know. I didn't want to like just sit around and wait. I really, really wanted to play the game. I've had this arcade mage on my mind, so I thought, hey, we'll just uh, we'll hang out for a bit in retail. And then you know, whenever the sod servers come back up, we'll we'll pick a time and we'll uh, we'll switch over. So, yeah, I want to level my druid too, but I have been thinking about this retail arcane mage, especially since the arcane mage like in sod didn't work out. So this I, I saw this as kind of like an opportunity. Yep. No, I understand. It's not for everybody. You, you know what, what made me like retail again? And this is going to sound stupid. What made me like and appreciate retail again was playing it. <laughs> it, was, it was actually playing it. Uh, it was when I decided to do the new story quest uh, for the Emerald Dream campaign. You know, I set out with a small goal. I said I should at least be able to... I said I don't really care for retail, but I should at least be able to do these story quests. And I did the story quest, and then I said, okay, okay, these are pretty enjoyable. Maybe I should start learning about, like, what's going on with the gearing system. What are these currencies about? And, and like, chat helped me out to figure out some of the currencies and the gearing and the world quest and the world events. And so by playing the game for a couple weeks consistently, 
I was enjoying my time. Is it? Do I have a better time in retail than classic? No, not really, but they're different games. Uh, but yeah, it, it took playing it for me to like it. And it sounds stupid, but that is what it takes. Now, is the leveling up experience like a hoot and a half? No, I think like most people would probably be bored with the leveling up experience. I, I think that the good thing about leveling up in the old world is that it's chill and relaxing. It's just cathartic. You can go, you can do the quest, you can relax, you can level your character up. Uh, but doing the world quest and, and doing the uh, story chapters, I did all the side quests in the Emerald Dream. Those were all enjoyable. I had a good time. And that's when I realized that like, yeah, like I'm never going to like retail if I don't play retail. It's obvious. And that's not to say that everybody that gives it a chance is gonna is gonna love it. But I'm just like I what I realize is like a lot of a lot of us like we don't we didn't like retail, we don't play retail. And that literally it takes actually playing it to like even for it to have a chance of you liking it. The TD, I, I, I appreciate that, man. Thank you for being here. I hope you have fun with the game. Thanks for hanging out. So I've, I've done all the fires. Let's go back. Nate, do I sometimes remind viewers to drop a like? I, I don't, I'm so bad at self-promotion, my man. No, I don't tell. I don't ask for anything, really. Every every once in a while when I start a series, when I do like a recorded series, I'll ask for like subs and likes and stuff because it really does help out. But I am probably the worst person in the world for any kind of self-promotion. Now I, I don't I don't mention like when I have other series going up. I don't even think most people that come to the stream every day know that I have a second channel where I'm doing like a Wrath of Lich King immersive series because I'm trying to move like the recorded stuff over to my second channel. But no, I'm so bad at self-promotion that like most people that come here don't even know I have a second channel. You need something? So, yeah. <laughs> I wish I could say that I was better at it. Safe travels. Well met. That being said, if you leave a like on this stream, it really helps me out and I appreciate it. There you go. Light bless you. Go with honor, friend. The Alliance. Tom, I appreciate that, man. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out. That, there you go. That see that that works out, Nate. Yep. Oh, I know it's that easy. It just never occurs to me. My wife just brought me some some soup, but it's really 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 hot. So it probably has like, it could probably cool down for like thirty minutes before it's ready to be eaten. So I'm gonna let that chill for a bit. I, I will try I will try to self-promote more just to make you guys happy. For you guys, I will sell myself harder. Only because you asked. I 
a gamer 28 thanks for being here i appreciate you checking out the stream all right here we go our first arcane spell arcane explosion oh yes oh that looks cool though like how angry she gets when she does it that that's freaking cool looking Okay, cool, cool, cool. Brent, good afternoon. Welcome to the stream, buddy. We're, we're just gonna do like arcane explosion only run where all we do is spam arcane explosion because obviously that's the way to go what's the name of the second channel it's rambles gaming rambles gaming i think on the on the page on my main homepage, there should be like a link to it under like related channels rambles gaming yeah i'm, tr I'm trying to get to a point where i can do like just streams on this channel and then the other channel is for the recorded immersive stuff because YouTube doesn't really like it when you try to do both, especially if you're doing both in one day. And I like to stream every day, and I like to record every day. And like doing it all on one channel wasn't really Something. working out. So I'm trying to spin that channel up. Life bless you. Be careful. What can I do for you? And, and Ariel, that's okay. It's okay for you to have your preferences. Absolutely. It's okay. Amy, thank you for the link. I appreciate that. I could do that myself, but again, I just... I'm lazy about self-promotion. Travis, good afternoon, man. I appreciate you being here. All right, where are we going? Oh, the music's really kicking out now. It's really kicking out. Let me know if the music gets too loud. It has kind of its like peaks and valleys with like how loud it is. Uh, apparently we're already done here in Northshire Abbey. Uh, we're level six, so like strangely, like le even though we didn't do as many quests, strangely we're like kind of right on track with like leveling where we would be like maybe in like Lich King. We'll see. How has the main channel done in the last year? It seems like it's grown a lot. Um, it's done about the same this year as it, it hasn't grown that much. It, it's like the point I'm at, it's really hard to grow, like, especially subs. What can I do for you? Yeah, like my, my sub count does not really go up. Safe travel. We're gonna be in the 20,000s for a long time, according to my mathematics. Yeah, it's, it's hard to, for me to get new subs. I have a great community, like the people I have, like you guys show up every day, you check out the recorded stuff, um, so like I have no complaints, but it is hard to grow past a certain point when you're like a, a medium to small channel. Well, some of it's luck, you know, some of it's what the algorithm pushes out, some of it is just like what's popular or what's not, a lot of it is probably luck. Daniel, yeah, we're, we're playing retail for right now. So, sod servers are down right now. We don't really know when they're going to come back up. And I wanted to hang out with you guys and play the game. So I've been thinking about this arcane mage for a while now. And then the mage didn't work out in sod yesterday. So I thought like this was an opportune time to jump on here and start this character up. Ah, yes. There's a flight point here, isn't there? Yes, there is.
How are you? See you around. I'm gonna bind my Hearthstone here. I supply only the finest goods. Have a good one. Good day to you. Safe travels. See you later. Ten quests complete. Oh, look at that. I'm already progressing my, my uh, trader post tendies. It feels good. I like progress. I like moving a bar from left to right. Nothing wrong with that. Sublight, I appreciate you being here. Thanks for hanging out, even if you're at work. I won't tell your boss. Well met. Go with honor, friend. Light bless you. Be careful for the Alliance. Be careful for the Alliance. Greetings. See you later. Be careful. Have a good one. Good day to you. Safe travels. See you later. Light be with you. Go with honor, friend. Light bless you. Go with honor, friend. Now oh, we got the Dark Moon Fair. With a strange, scary portal I've never seen. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go through the portal. We're gonna avoid the portal. Oh, no, no Dark Moon Fair music. Oh, I was hoping we would get some uh, Dark Moon Fair music. What was the reward for the Travers? Like, I, I think we got, we worked towards getting some tendies. I, I, it seemed like we were just progressing towards, like, unlocking some, some chicken tenders. I mean, some trading post currency. Whatever they're called. Well, we'll probably see like more of them pop up, and I'll, I'll check it out a little more. But I think we're just like working towards currency for the trading post, which is nice because the trading post has lots of really cool stuff on it. If you're into like transmog and making your character look awesome. Let's come down here and grab the uh, the quest. Once we hit level ten, we'll uh, we'll try to find maybe somewhere more interesting to go on the one of the command boards. I will take Cataclysm time walking at level ten. That way, we can use any of the old world zones to level up. I mean, we could just do Elwyn Forest, but good day we could also just pick somewhere else anywhere in the old world and go there. Like, maybe like one of the Plague Lands or something. We could check out Dunmoro. I don't know if I've ever seen Dunmoro after the Cataclysm. Is Kata when they added the new gnome zone? Um, Trolls got a new zone. I, I, I'm not sure whether or not gnomes did. M yeah, maybe. Like where they start inside Gnomergon and you, you play through like a little scenario to get out of it. Yeah. I, I, I think so. I wasn't an alliance player back in Cataclysm. So I'm not, I'm not 100%. I was on the Horde side back then. Like 100% on the Horde side. JK, good afternoon. Welcome to the stream.
I mean, that has to be one of the coolest looking spells in the game. Oh, we got counter spell. That's nice. The lock dried up. Lock modan. The lock dried up. Hmm. Hmm. Could be interesting. You know what zone? The the one zone that I really don't like post cataclysm on the alliance side. They they kind of ruined Westfall for me. They kind of. I don't really like like the silly little murder mystery thing. I think it's really like tongue in cheek and cringe. <laughs> so yeah, like I don't. They ruined Westfall for me. I know that much. Anywhere else is fine. Well, Red Ridge has the Rambo story. Okay, they ruined Westfall and Red Ridge for me. I don't appreciate the silly little murder mystery thing, and I didn't appreciate the giant like Rambo spoof. That became Red Ridge. But besides that, every other zone is fine. You need <laughs> Princess got huge. Yeah, Princess has been eating all of the things. Apparently. Somehow that increased her overall size. Is Stone Talon nice? Is there is there alliance questing in Stone Talon? Because I don't I don't remember Stone Talon either. Yeah, maybe, maybe I could do some Kalimdor stuff. Uh, I should go over here first because we can uh, kill Goldtooth. Azara. Yeah, Azara. I know on the Horde side, Azara became like a goblin area. And I didn't, I didn't really appreciate, I don't really like goblins. I don't know if you can go there on Alliance side at all. Maybe you can, if you can, I've never been there on, on Alliance side. It, it would have to be, be better than goblins. Which I just kind of don't like. Stone Talon might be mostly horde questing. Yeah, it was always mostly horde. I remember there was a small camp for the Alliance, like up in the far northern part of Stone Talon. And but most of the quests you got for Stone Talon as Alliance came from Ashenvale. You got them in Astronar. And then those sent you into Stone Talon to do different things. Talon, have a good day, man. I appreciate you stopping by. Sod servers are up. Right on. I'm gonna I'm gonna play this a little bit more, and uh, and in a little while when I'm ready for a little breaky break, when I'm ready to eat my soup and stuff, we'll uh, we can switch over. I'm, I'm gonna play this a little bit more since we're here. I'm having I'm having a decent time. Thanks for letting me know. I appreciate it. You need something? Have a good one. Safe travels.
Yeah, the, the improved lighting really, really helped these zones out. I remember like a couple a couple years ago thinking about how like how drab they had started to feel compared to like the classic era zones. Yeah, like fixing the lighting like yeah makes a huge difference. You can't really appreciate the view distance in Elwyn because of all the trees, but you can definitely appreciate the lighting. Jigball20, I appreciate that, man. Thanks for saying so, and thanks for being here and hanging out with us. Why am I not streaming on Twitch? Uh, because my channel is on YouTube, so it made more sense when I started streaming to stream on YouTube. Keep in mind, my channel's been around for five years. I've only been streaming on it for about 10 months. So while I'm newer to streaming, I'm not newer to YouTube. So it just made sense for me to stream where I was at. Furthermore, uh, YouTube has much better video quality uh, than Twitch. On YouTube, I'm able to upload and, put in and stream in 1440p, as you might have noticed, depending on your device. And also, I can stream at a higher bitrate. Uh, right now, I'm streaming at uh, 15,000 kilobit bitrate, whereas on Twitch, I can only stream at 8,000. So, lots of different reasons. Also, Twitch seems to get worse for, like, smaller creators every single day. In fact, Twitch seems to get worse for creators every single day, like, period. It's kind of a cesspool, you know? Like, if I was streaming this on Twitch right now, there would be five people watching it. <laughs> like, not, not worth it for me, you know? Lonnie, yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, I know. I'm going I'm to play this for a little bit, a little bit longer. Because I'm, I'm having a decent time and we're hanging out. And then uh, when I'm ready to take a break and eat my soup, and I'll come back and then we'll do sod. Yeah, I, I want to I do a little bit more here. I appreciate you guys letting me know. I know the title still says until the sod servers are up. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, I think Goldtooth is actually outside. He's outside the this place in retail. The Twitch categories are way oversaturated. Yeah, like no one's ever going to see you uh, on Twitch because you're going to be at the bottom of a thing that they're never going to scroll to the bottom of. They're going to be looking at like the top two rows of, of content creators, which are always going to be the biggest content creators. So like smaller creators on Twitch, like you don't have any chance to grow. Not through like natural means, you know. There's probably some artificial means you could use to boost your channel, but yeah, I don't do stuff like that. It looks like a cream of cheddar broccoli. Yeah, looks really good. I should probably, I should probably get to it soon. It was really hot when I got it. I'm just kind of counting on that to last.
All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I I'm gonna I'm gonna eat some of the soup. I'm gonna turn my cam off. I'm just gonna eat some of the soup, and then uh, I'm gonna keep playing. Cam off while I eat. Boop. I'll pin that to the chat, and uh, I will see you guys on the flip side. day to you. See you later. Hello. See you around. Have a good one. Safe travels. Greetings. Life bless you. Be careful for the Alliance. Need something? See you later. Hey there. Have a good one. Safe travels.
How are you? See you around. It was good. Yeah, it was really good. Lucas, good afternoon, man. I appreciate you hanging out. Uh, the swift message will take us to Stormwind, which I don't really want to do. Is there an auto? Need help? Yeah, I want to ride the Stormwind Charger. I think this takes us out to the logging camp. Light plus. Yes, this is our. This is when I should have eaten my soup. On the free ride, out to the logging camp. Well, that's nice of them. <laughs> they, they didn't want you to have to run at all. Not in the very beginning, at least. It's, a, it's like they tried to make it as like friction-free as possible, and they thought, man, having to run somewhere, that's a, that's a little bit of friction. Take this fast mount. Go make a sandwich! Okay. It's strange when you really think about it, like how few quests actually changed in Cataclysm. Like maybe one in every five quests was changed in any way. There are like some key differences, unless there's something big that happened in the zone, like most of the quests are exactly the same. King's honor, friend. Go with honor, friend. Be careful. Yeah, we're still we're still looking for the two guards. 
Yeah, it, it's kind of funny. Here. I didn't really realize that. Like, in my memory, like, a lot of the quests had changed. But that's not the case. Uh, a couple things have been changed. Some things have been reworded, but they still have the same objectives. Uh, we got the Murloc kill quest right off the bat instead of having to come back later for it. But yeah, a lot of these quests are still pretty, pretty much the same. As they were before the Cataclysm. Like, they could, they could almost have just, like, after a while, they could have removed, like, the Cataclysm-specific uh, quest. The, the ones that are about the Cataclysm having just happened. They could have removed that stuff, replaced it with, like, just some normal questing. And the zones still would have been evergreen, you know? They would have been revamped zones that were not tied directly to the Cataclysm Life happening. With Go with honor, friend. Lucas, you hate a, you hate how the barons got split up in Cata. That's oh, funny because like at the time, I'll tell you as someone who played at the time, like pe people, a lot of people liked that. A lot of people thought that the barons was too big, that the barons was too big of a zone, that it that it had too much of a discrepancy in the in the level range, and a lot of people were like happy that it got split up. Now, like the way it got split up, being cut in half by like a lava flow that like stayed forever, like that was kind of crappy, but uh, the concept was sound. I feel like. Ah, uh, we have the flight point, yes. Yeah, they gave they gave a jar to the goblins. I don't like goblins. At least we got the gold schedule. <laughs> what can I do for you? Go with honor, friend. Life bless you. For the Alliance. What do I think about the Dragonflight expansion? It was okay. It was a million times better than Shadowlands. What do I do for a living? Nothing.
Let's see. Uh, well, I, I probably should have waited until Frost Noble was up. That could have been smart. I kind of wanted to freeze and see if I could AoE down a bunch of them. I might have been able to with Frost Nova. Um, on second thought... <laughs> oh no, no! We got one! Yeah, we got one! <laughs> oh man. Oh, that was fun. Okay, so we're not we're not like an arcane god, which is good. We shouldn't be an arcane god. You shouldn't be able to blink into a bunch of murlocs and just spam them all down. If if that one had gotten caught in the frost nova, it might have been a different story. The servers are up. Yeah, I know. Yeah, thank you, man. I, I appreciate it. Yeah, I, I know they're up. Um, in a little bit, when I'm whenever I'm ready to take a little break, then I'll uh, I will end this stream and then we will come back up in a little bit on sod. But I'm I'm having a decent time and. So I, I kind of I wanted to get this character started anyway. This was a good day to do it. All right. Well, we know we can't get away with that level of shenanigans, which is okay. But it was fun. We could probably take a couple of them. Come with me. Okay. Oh, they broke out really soon. They broke out really really soon. Okay, let's do this. Let's blink over this way. We, we got a couple of them. Um, what else can we do? What other tricks do we have? Not really many. Kiting seems to be okay. Okay, okay, hey, we lived. Let's conjure some refreshments. A stack of 20, very nice. In all honesty, like, I, I die a lot in retail. In all of my retail playthroughs, I, I die, like, pretty often. I feel like I die in retail more than I die in classic. And it, it could just be because I play the two games differently, but um, a lot of it has to do with other things. That was nice. Oh, we still have to find the one guard before we find this guard. You'd think of all the quality of life changes, they would have changed that. Let you find the guards in any order. We have to go across the river here. Uh, bundles of wood we still need. Let's go get the other guard's body. Am I vanilla leveling in retail? Yeah, this is like the, the best way to level. If you just want to level up a character in retail and you just want to have a relaxing time leveling the character, like the best thing you can do for yourself is to do the old world zones. And you can you can take Cataclysm time walking and you can go anywhere. You can go to any zone in the Eastern Kingdoms or Kalimdor. And like, it's just better. Like the mob density is more chill. Like the questing, it just feels smoother. You're not being dragged along through a narrative that you're never gonna finish because of the way you're not gonna get to patch content. Yeah, I, I like to level up retail characters just in the old world. Um, it's just, it's just more enjoyable for me. This is Storm Rage. Which is like US Central? US East? I think it's US East. Not 100% though. Robert, you're on Moonguard? Is that a, uh, is that an RP server? Why do I know that name? <laughs> if I know the name, that means the server's infamous. Moonguard, yeah, that, is that a that's a oh, that's an RP server, right? Okay, very, very nice. It's, a, it's a very RP. It's a very infamous.
hey, hey, play what you love, you know? Play what you love. Marlena, good afternoon. Welcome to the stream. Inventory's full. What a surprise. Even in retail, I could fill my inventory. Jason, you got bingo? Nice. Yeah, I saw a green item on this enemy back here. Um, it's a pattern. Oh, okay. Interesting. I'm not sure if anybody levels up like the, uh, the old professions anymore. I'm not sure um, if there's a purpose to do that or maybe it's for like achievements or something. Oh, we gonna die. We gotta get out of here. <laughs> I don't want to die back in this place. We are gonna run for the hills. I kind of like how squishy my character is. A fury warrior she is not, exactly, yeah. Tis true, tis true. You mean I can't be a melee mage in retail? I thought I could do whatever I wanted in retail. People told me the game was super easy and combat didn't matter. I thought I could do whatever I wanted. What is this? Tarantus? Tarantus, you're dead. I'll kill me a rare, especially if it's a spider. Oh god. It's a little bit beefy. Level 10. Giddy up. Hey, I got a bag, and like, it actually feels good because I needed a bag, so how cool is that? Okay, here we go. Arcane. Manipulates raw arcane magic, destroying enemies with overwhelming power. Uh, stabs, wands, daggers, swords, intellect, and we get arcane missiles and arcane surge. Expend all of your current mana. Oh god, I'm in combat. Expend all of, expend all of your current. Hold on, <laughs> let's take care of this guy. Uh, that sounds like I don't want to expend all my mana. That sounds scary. These guys are never going to give us peace. We just need to get somewhere like relatively safe if we want to take a look at this. 
They are not gonna leave us alone, obviously. I need this guy though. This guy needs to come with us. He can just follow behind until we drop him. There we go. Okay, is there anywhere safe out here? Not, not really, no. This has like two paragraphs though. Uh, expends all of your current mana to annihilate your enemy target and nearby enemies for up to 168 arcane damage based on mana spent. Deals reduced damage beyond 5 targets. For the next 15 seconds, your mana regeneration is increased by 425% and spell damage is increased by 35%. Okay. Okay, I guess. Um, cool. So, um, do I drag this from here? Does it go, does it go into my spell book? Um, let's see, overflowing energy, your spell critical strike damage will inc is increased 10% when your direct damage spells fall, I, I did that. okay. Um, magical energy flows through you while in combat, building up to 10. I'm gonna take this one. Okay. Oh, I, I have arcane charges now. Okay, I wasn't, I don't know, I wasn't expecting that. Arcane blast, so I'm probably gonna like replace this. We don't have arcane missiles, or... I don't have arcane missiles until I can put a point into it, apparently. Even though they told me that for my class, I, I'm going to be doing arcane missiles. Oh, that's cool looking. I like how uh, it leaves runes behind in the air. We're looking for, yeah, one more bear. Very cool. No, I, I can. I only had one talent point. I only had a talent point. Over, I don't have an arcane talent point until level eleven, apparently. Yeah, like I got. I got nothing over here. I got a shield in my spellbook though. Um, oh, Prismatic Barrier. Okay, okay, that's like a little cooldown ability. Uh, shields you with Arcane Force, absorbing 52 damage, reducing magic taken. Okay, 25 second cooldown. Whoops. Okay, oh that's cool. So, so I can be a melee mage. I can be a melee mage, is what you're telling me. It's almost like the arcane skill tree treats the mana pool in the same way as a warrior's rage. Oh, okay, like we're gonna deplete a lot of it really quick, but then it regens pretty fast kind of thing. That's, so you're telling me I can be a mage warrior. I, I can be a melee mage. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, I mean that one ability definitely did. It dumps all of your mana, but then it regens it at 400% speed. So that ability felt like a big old like heroic strike or something. Right now I'm generating arcane charges, but I don't have a spender. So that's a little weird.
all three specs get a shield. That makes sense. It's only fair. So they can all be melee mages if they want to. Let's go out to the island to get these scraps since, since there's level scaling. It doesn't matter really where we fight them. Oh damn, we one-shot her. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, we're one-shotting them. That that's that's fine. I'm okay with that. Goodbye. The music here is interesting. The music here is menacing and like, we're the bad guys, we're the ones like just murdering all these people. That's why the music got menacing. Because we were being menacing. We are the baddies. We're one-shotting people. We just came up on their island and started one-shotting them. They didn't even have time to form a raid group. We're just like a loose raid boss. Just one-shotting people. <laughs> we, we weren't doing that a minute ago. Against the Murlocs, we, we weren't one-shotting them. So I don't know. Those guys must have just been weak to Arcane or something. I'm not sure. King's honor, friend. Light bless you. Greetings. Be careful. Our inventory is full. I should I should take care of this whole inventory thing. I'm pretty sure there's a vendor like over here somewhere. At least there used to be. There he is. He just he just didn't exist for a minute. How are you? Uh, let's see if we can automatically sell our junk. We could basically sell everything. And there's really nothing that we need to keep a hold of. And there we go. See you later. You'd think you'd be able to conjure bags. I don't know. I don't know how that works. You could have like a pocket dimension bag. Like a like a portal, like a little portal that's like hand sized that leads like somewhere else. Like it leads to somewhere in your like apartment in, in Stormwind. And then you just like drop stuff through the portal, it puts it like on your desk. Need help? Farewell. Light bless you. We've done fifty quests. If you guys wanted to know. Here we go, now we can get arcade missiles. Now we can drag that out to the bar. We'll, we'll do something like that. Um, we'll do something like that. 
Well, there we go. It's like you unlocked a new ability, Prismatic Barrier. Uh, you mean the, the, the ability I already had out? That ability? The one I already had out? Oh, okay. Oh wait, and, and it and it's it snuck arcane barrage out here. Did you guys see it? I didn't see it. It snuck arcane barrage out here. So like we we got arcane barrage now. Let's. I guess that can stay here. Well. Mm, yeah, we'll leave it here for now. Uh, we'll see how that feels. Let me find something to. Hopefully not kill in one hit. So what should I open with? Should I just, like, arcade missiles everything? Okay. That's an instant cast. For each arcane charge, it deals 32% additional damage. So you, you can hit this no matter what. But if you have arcane charges, it does more. Now, arcane missiles seems to be like a neutral spell. It doesn't seem to use arcane charges. But also, it doesn't generate arcane charges. So that's, that's, I wonder what it's, what it's usefulness is. Like, I mean, it's, it's like, you know, it's a good spell, like, boom. Arcane missiles and then a quick arcane barrage, that's it. This is the arcane mage that I want. I just want to be chucking arcane spells around nonstop. Honor, friend. Life bless you. Go with honor, friend. All right, let's go take out the collector. I guess I'm level ten, so like technically we could have a mount if we if we really wanted one. Uh, probably like something basic. Something basic would be okay. I wonder if I have anything basic that looks a little bit cooler than that. The Gilnean Prowler? Probably not. The Mountain Horse has like more detail but doesn't have a, a saddle. And that looks cool. Nice. The most crucial part of the game is spending 20 minutes picking out a cool mount. Yeah, probably. I think for some people it probably is. Yeah, I just like having something relatively normal. I don't even like I don't even like riding the mount very often. Uh, yeah, like eventually I would start riding the mount eventually. But like it's it's we it's always gonna be weird for me to ride a mount in Elwyn Forest. You know what I mean? Like any other zone, I'd probably be okay with it. It's just weird here to do it. Feels wrong. You need something? Go with honor, friend. 
They like they went back and they changed. They like, they had all these unique like robes that were in the game and all this unique gear looking gear that was being handed out in vanilla era. All the, all the looks were different and unique. And they went back and they replaced it all with like this smock. It's like the same every every robe is like the same robe. They had unique robes. They had unique looking gear uh, prior to Cataclysm or whenever they added this stuff. And now all this stuff is like very much like just looking the same. It's kind of a, kind of a shame that they did that. Yeah, this will probably be our, our minimal our minimal flying playthrough. We're, we'll do we'll do minimal flying. I'll probably use a ground mount eventually, but I think for like flying around it'll be like minimal. Uh, very cool. We, we did get another bag out of that. Okay, guys, I'll tell you what. I'm having fun on this mage. However, I do want to play some of the druid today over on Sod. So, two things. I'm going to take a quick little break here. I'm going to end this stream. I'm going to come back up on Sod after a little while. I'll get that scheduled right after I, I shut this one down. And uh, we're gonna play this character again soon, though. We're gonna we're gonna level this character. You, if you guys are down to like watch some retail leveling, which like you seem to be, you guys seem to be down to watch some like chill retail leveling. I would like to level this character up. I really love like the the idea and the lore of like just an arcane mate. To me, um, this seems to be the version of the game that offers that fantasy to like the fullest, and I would very much like to explore that with you guys. So I'm going to jump off here for now. I'm going to get over on Sod in a little while. Thank you guys so much for being here and hanging out with me today. I really do appreciate you. And I hope to see you after a little while. Bye for now.